storm team weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Ramirez, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. We had a cold front that moved through the Concho Valley, bringing some chilly temperatures. Here's a live look outside downtown San Angelo. We are seeing relatively clear conditions, very sunny skies, but those temperatures only getting up into the 50s. But a look at our weather headlines. We're going to see these chilly temps lasting for the next 24 hours. Overnight lows in the 30s for tonight, but we're only going to be up in the 50s for tomorrow. It's going to be a calm and quiet weather pattern as we head into the rest of the work week. We are expecting a little bit of rain chances as we head towards the end of next weekend as we deal with another weather system as we head into Saturday and Sunday. But uh, looking at that almanac, our official high today was 58. Our average temperature around this time of year is around 80 degrees, but that record was set in 1972. We got up to 103, so definitely seeing some very cool temperatures in terms of those lows too. Last night we got down to 38. We're going to have another night with those temperatures dropping into the 30s. But uh, looking at our current conditions right now across San Angelo out of Mathis Field, the 59 degrees, winds out of the east at 8 miles an hour. As we head into our overnight low temperatures for the next several days, we're going to continue to see these chilly temperatures for the rest of the week in terms of those nightly temperatures in the 30s for Monday, 40s for Tuesday, and in the low 50s to upper 40s as we head into the from midweek towards the end of the week there. So seeing relatively cool temperatures for this time of year in the third low 30s in Amarillo, 73 in Del Rio, 59 degrees in Waco. But looking at the big picture here, we have this high pressure system that's building in. This is going to continue to keep conditions quiet for us here in the Concho Valley, but that weather system off towards the east with that cold front is well off towards the east there, not seeing any severe weather across the United States for today, but this weekend, these are all the storm reports that we received all across the south, stretching from Louisiana all the way uh, towards uh, Mississippi and portions of North and South Carolina. These were the same storms that came through West Texas. That same weather system caused several confirmed tornadoes in all across the deep south. And of course, unfortunately, there was a lot of fatalities with that, but we didn't really see that here, uh, fortunately for us, but we uh, did see relatively very strong winds. But right now in the Panhandle, they're seeing snow in Amarillo and they're under winter weather warnings from Lubbock to Amarillo as they're still dealing with some cooler temperatures here, uh, but quiet and clear for us here all across the Concho Valley. Not expecting to see anything uh, for the next 24 hours. We are going to see some increasing clouds for tomorrow morning. Overnight lows in the 30s and 40s tomorrow morning, relatively chilly. And then, like I said, it's partly cloudy conditions with those temperatures in the upper 50s. Some of us may make it into the 60s, but uh, still continuing to see uh, relatively chilly temperatures. For the next several days across the state of Texas, we're going to see uh, a calm and quiet weather pattern for us here. Temperatures very slowly warming up into the 60s, eventually in the 70s and 80s as we head into the middle of this week there. But then our next weather system will be moving through next Friday and Saturday. We're going to see a slight cold front, which could bring us some rain chances for next Saturday and Sunday here. Weather models are disagreeing on the timing and how much rain we could receive, so we're going to have to watch the system closely because any we are in severe weather season, so any type of weather system that does move through here does have the potential from to spit out some severe weather as we head into the next several days here. So calm and quiet for the rest of the week, but next weekend going to have to keep an eye on that weather system. Tonight, those overnight lows in the 40s as we head closer towards midnight, so definitely bring a jacket if you are heading out uh, outdoors this evening. Tonight, those overnight lows eventually dropping down into the mid 30s. We could be near freezing in Sterling City. Very cold for tonight. Those highs only topping out in the 50s for tomorrow in the 60s along our southern counties and along the I-10 corridor from Junction all the way to Sonora. But for the next seven days, expect that very slow warming trend, at least one more day for us here with very chilly temperatures uh, for those overnight lows. But then mostly sunny and that warming trend can continue for the middle of this week. Highs in the upper 70s for Thursday and then upper 60s for Friday. And then we're going to see those slight rain chances come into the picture as we head into next weekend. Overnight lows in the 50s, but definitely seeing some pleasant temperatures expected for the next several days. We'll be right back.